hi guys welcome back well I've uh, done a bit more work uh, masked all the front off as best as I can bit of a tricky shape to um, mask off with the engine uh, or the bearers there for the engine in there uh, so I've used a mixture of mask oil and uh, foam and masking tape as you can see try and stop some of the other spray I expect I can always repaint it with a brush but anyway replaining with some uh, repackaged stone or res which I think has gone off a bit it's a little bit hard but we'll give it a go as you can hear it struggles and it spits it's gone very thick Which is a shame because it's a very good primer actually. And now you can see it's um, suffering from a bit. Of, I don't know if it's bits in it or tip dries, but I'll persevere with it. Some bits of it have already been primed on the sprue.
you can hear voices in the background that's my son still carrying on with his schoolwork due to the shutdown at home seem to have lots of problems with him accessing his um, classwork on the internet The thing is about this prime not spraying very well, I actually really like the primer. Painting the back side for it. So far on this kit, I have used zero filler. That's how good these wing nut kits go together. I can turn the compressor off. So we've kind of finished the assembly of the engine, I did a bit of pan painting out, I've just got to paint that little handle brown at the back, the decompression lever I believe that is, nicely detailed, even straight out of the box, and I've got to repaint these, which are oil fillers I believe, so that's that done, I don't know if I showed you any of this, um, painted the undercarriage up, I've got to paint the uh, like the bungee cords that acted as suspension back in those days. You see me prying the wheels, this is a radiator. Um, it tells me to paint here German grey or something, but I'm not really sure. I think according to the colour profiles, it's just painted body colour. I don't know what colour the actual radiator grill should be, whether it should be black or silver. 
the machine guns again I filed off the details and I put the etched uh, jackets on uh, the etched sights as well painted them a metallic black colour from Vallejo game I think I've got it here although it just says black it's actually a metallic black it says metallic it's quite a nice colour for guns I think um, this is what the machine guns mount to around the cockpit combing got a part of the padding there so that part what else have we got in there and I've painted up the oil tank I'm not holding these up but you haven't seen them very well painted up the oil tank painted it copper was it or brass can't remember anyway that. and the last couple of components in here are the engine side cowls so silver on the outside inside sorry and then obviously the body colour <laughs> which they say was either black or, or chocolate red they can't tell from the black and white pictures of the time anyway guys that's about it from that five ten minute session I'll string these together and uh, try and post this up later today if not today it'll be at the weekend why am I telling you that that makes absolutely no sense anyway guys hope you're all safe and well from the coronavirus and uh, yeah do as the government says and stay in still seeing loads of people out but uh, can't believe they're all out doing things secure background noises it's a nice day I've got the windows open there's some building work going on and as I said my son's studying take care guys oh ho welcome back again guys um, I thought I would you just spray the underside color which is either white or off-white I've decided to use a mr. hobby aqueous hobby color number 21 which is off-white so I think white and black shouldn't really be used they are quite strong colors so anyway I've just loaded up the airbrush with it diluted it with some of ultimate products uh, thinners about just just over 50% paint to sorry but probably about 55% paint 45% thinners so let's see how it goes Doing a very light sort of dusty coat first just wrap it around the leading edges a bit It doesn't have to do we don't have to do the tail plane it just kind of runs down to here on the body and does it go all the way up I'll to check really excuse me guys uh, yeah it does run up the front check before you spray a bit of bubbling sounds there So I know you can see a joint line but you ought to see the pictures of them they do look like a corrugated shed put together so
start going back over again, slightly heavier coat this time.
So there we go, that's the underside colour done. Top side colours the wingnut wings recommend are for the green, it's cockpit green or light green as they call it, XF71. And then a mix of flat white, which I haven't got out, um, purple and flat earth. I think it's one part of each to make up the purpley camouflage colour. Anyway guys, got to clean the airbrush out, um, see how it dries quite pleased with it so far as I say for my modeling skills this has been quite a challenging kit um, that's probably some people who laugh at you or laugh at me rather not at you um, but I've still enjoyed it but um, yeah quite an interesting build